hey guys because over here and today we are going to see how we can transmit or receive data between arduino and node red using websocket on arduino side i am going to use esp32 node mcu module so let's first see what has to be done on the arduino sketch to make it communicate using websocket so i've used couple of libraries first one is arduino websocket this basically enables your arduino board to communicate using websocket and the Arduino JSON library that basically helps you serialize and deserialize JSON in Arduino. So over here, how it is going to work is uh, the onboard button is there. So when you press that button, it is going to send out a temperature and humidity value to Node Red. And whenever from Node Red you send out a data with status one or zero, the onboard LED will change accordingly. So let's quickly go through the code and see how this works. Uh, so first thing is we need to define the WebSocket server host that is basically my node red url and the server port basically the node red port after that we are just defining a client for our socket and this dynamic json document is particularly to deserialize json in arduino so this is just to up some memory and all that uh, then on setup i have just defined the onboard button and led and after that I just try to con connect to your wifi and all that and on the WebSocket front, the client.connect will take three parameters. There's basically host, port, and the path. So we'll see how we can, uh, you know, how we can create this in Node Red, and that same has to be copied here. That's it. So whenever it gets connected, it's print out then it's connected and all that. And there are two callbacks method that we are registering. One is for message, one is for event. And finally, we do a client.ping in the setup and if we do this we should receive a uh, pong from the server so basically ping and pong are basically used by websocket to uh, uh, check the status and health and all that basically access heartbeat then we are just in the loop we are just doing client.available and we're doing client call and after that we are just doing uh, reading the onboard button and if that button is zero basically it's grounded then we are just trying to send some data to the server using kind of send so i'm using sprintf to create a string with the you know sensor values over here i've given some static values but we can certainly replace this with actual sensor variables of data right finally we have this message callback method that gets invoked whenever there's a message available in the website connection so we are expecting that to be JSON, but you can work with string or any other data type as well. But I have just considered it as, uh, you know, JSON. So I'm just trying to parse it using the JSON library. And we are just trying to read the key status. And if that is one, we are just running on the LED uh, high or otherwise we just make it low. There's also event callback method that we have been restored earlier. So this basically in case of any events prints out the status and all that, nothing else uh one thing is only whenever we get a ping we are responding with a form so that's all with arduino side we'll just try to upload this but before that uh let's just see what has to be done on the node red side so over here i am using websocket in and out uh, nodes and you need to configure the websocket uh in or out node with type listen on and you need to give the path so this path is going to be exactly same that we have given over here. So this portion, okay, uh, it, it cannot be different. Uh, so if you see the out node as well, it's the same thing. So if you're, uh, you know, want to know more about how to work with web sockets and node red, you can check out my earlier tutorial about this. I've given the link down below in the description. So whenever there is some data available in the WebSocket in node, we are just trying to parse it as JSON uh, because from the Arduino side, we are sending it as JSON string. Okay. So if you see this, so the structure is basically it has temperature and humidity key and respective values. And finally, we print that to the debug console. On the other hand, when we are trying to write to the you know WebSocket, we are using uh, either you know sending zero or one. And it also goes as JSON. So I'm just trying to send it a string from a JSON object, like status zero. And for send one, we are just trying to send the one value. You can change this and you can send any data you want. Okay, that totally depends on you. So now 
let's try to test it out and see if this works so i have already uploaded the code now let me clear it out and reset the controller it is connecting to wi-fi it has disconnected now and uh, as we did you know here we pinged it so in response we have got a pong from node red now let's press the button and see if we are getting data in the node at all i'll just press the onboard button and you see we are getting the temperature and humidity value 2.3 and 2.9 as we have programmed over here right now let's try to send a zero or one from here let's say I try to send a one and the led is turned on now now if i send a zero the led is turned off so this basically is working and you can change the code to suit your need and also on the node rate uh, side you can do a lot of uh, logic and all that to suit your requirement and all that right so that's all for this video guys hope you have enjoyed this if so hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for videos like this see you next time with our next video till then bye